Hi, I'm Julian Sprung from Two Little Fishies, and here we are at Interzoo at the Two Little Fishies stand, and I am going to tell you about some new products today. Uh, but first of all, I want to say hello to Sabine Pennison. Hello there. Bye. <laughs> now we'll get uh, to the new products. Right here behind me, um, this is Accuracy One. It's our new synthetic seawater mix. Um, it will be available in a few months, so we're just showing it here to demonstrate the unique packaging. This is a 50-gallon size, um, and the 50-gallon pack consists of 10 individually packaged pouches to make up 5 gallons, that's 20 liters, uh, which you can mix up in a um, common 5-gallon bucket. Uh, the advantage of doing that is um, you are using the entire perfectly blended salt mix. Uh, you don't open up a bag and then close it, reseal it, and open it up later where the uh, atmospheric moisture could uh, influence the salt mix. So in addition, since we are precisely weighing the salt, uh, you can actually mix this up only by measuring the amount of water you don't even need a hydrometer it'll be a precise uh, salinity <clears throat> pardon me um, the package is kind of unique as well because uh, it's shaped like a cube and it's simple to carry you have this unique design with the puffer fish so um, it's one salt mix designed uh, to be used whether for saltwater fish or for a reef aquarium. Let's um, look at a couple of other new products. You are probably familiar with our different glues for attaching corals. You have Aquastic and we have Corifix. We recently introduced Corifix Little Pro, which is a smaller version of our Corifix Pro gel. And at this show, we're showing a um, cyanoacrylate for freshwater aquariums that we call Florafix. And the idea is it's for attaching freshwater plants like Anubias um, and the Java fern and Java moss to woods. Uh, there are other plants as well that grow on a wood substrate. And it's quite easy to attach them this way instead of using threads. Okay. I don't know how interesting that is for the receive people, but uh, some of us have freshwater aquariums, right? Okay. Moving along here, we'll look at, um, this is a new food for us called Kalanese. And it consists of Kalanese species copepods uh, that are freeze-dried and it makes a, an ideal food for uh, tropical freshwater or saltwater fishes. Uh, you can also feed it, of course, to corals and sea anemones. I'll um, open up the jar here so you can get a shot of what it looks like. There we go. This jar is opened. It's normally sealed with a foil seal. As you can see, the copepods are, are rather large, which makes it, you know, an ideal food for most uh, small fishes. With that color, you notice that's a, a sign that it's rich in astaxanthin pigment, uh, which is beneficial for developing bright colors in fishes as well. Okay, we have two other new foods. This one is Nutrigorg. It's a product developed by Justin Credible. He um, has a, a coral farm where he, he has used different types of uh, planktonic feeds and found at advantages with different types of corals. In this case, uh, the recipe is neutrally buoyant, so the particles stay drifting in the water for a long time with the pump circulation on, that gives a Gorgonian a long time to catch the food and feed. 
that what that's what makes that that product unique compared to this new product also from just incredible chalice power um, is negatively buoyant it's it's rather heavy so when you uh, feed this on top of a coral whether it's a chalice type coral or any other large polyp stony coral the food will sit on the coral surface rather than float around and it allows them time to feed on it right here is a new filtration media that we call hydroclear and what hydroclear is is a very clean non-dusty version of our hydrocarbon 2 we've screened out the dust so uh, when we put it in a media bag it's in a pouch the hobbyist doesn't need to wash it you just take the pouch and put it in the filter and it's ready to go very convenient we take our same hydroclear and we mix it with Fosban, which is a GFO, and that's the product Hydroclear XP. Um, the Fosban has some fines, some dust on it, so that this one you do need to rinse briefly. It's in a pouch the same way. Let's see. And you can see some fines there, but you rinse it for about 30 seconds you can just dip it in a bucket of water or put it under the tap, whatever you wish to do. Uh, and then it's ready to put in the filter. Uh, believe that would be all of the new products here. I can show you one additional thing. You may be familiar with our Fosban reactors. We're introducing a newly designed cap a new lid for the reactor that has uh, good finger grips that makes it easy to um, open up. You can really get a grip on it just like that. So that would be available uh, where people, if they have the old style, they may want to upgrade and, and put a new, new cap on it. I, don't, I imagine you've seen this one already, the mag feeder. Um, but along the same lines, we now have something called a pouch feeder. Uh, and these are the pouch feeder replacement pouches. You can see them there. We'll so the pouch feeder um, uses a pouch on the same magnetic coupling that we use for the mag feeder and, and the veggie mag. You, it's hard for me to do this and hold the microphone at the same time. Now you're great. Thank you pull this little cap off here is the pouch which we can open up and now you see that it's a very large cavity into which you can put frozen food you can put algae anything that is soft that a fish can pick on then you put it on the mount you don't actually have to put this back it can it can be just done like this but I'm going to put it back there just the same. And then magnetically you are able to put this anywhere in the tank for the fishes to feed. Easy, easy work. We are going to talk about Sea Balance. Uh, sea Balance is a two-part supplement. You can see all of these A and B here. Um, it is made to supply calcium and alkalinity uh, to the aquarium. Now there are a number of other methods available in the trade and there are other brands out there. Uh, what's different about Sea Balance is we formulated it to supply not just the calcium and alkalinity but to be um, designed to leave a residual that it matches natural seawater. So the ratios of all the components, um, the other ions that are in the solution, are like seawater. The only thing in excess uh, is the calcium and the alkalinity which the coral then extract from the water to deposit their skeletons leaving a solution that doesn't change the composition of the water in your aquarium. Uh, that is really a unique formulation. So it has in addition to calcium and alkalinity you have of course magnesium, uh, strontium which are important for the coral skeletons. Um, you have 
uh, potassium, you have uh, all the other components all the way down to trace of natural seawater. Since it's only two parts, it's simple and it's been formulated to add it as equal amounts of A and B. So you don't even need a dosing system. It comes with the little cups that you can pour the solution of an equal measure of part A and part B. You add that anywhere there's a strong current stream. You can also, if you have a dosing system that has two channels and you have two dosing chambers, you can automate it uh, to add equal amounts of, of both parts. I do this myself at home. Uh, in my office tanks, I add it manually. You can do it either way. It's quite easy. Um, trying to think what else that I can say about it. If you have an aquarium that is imbalanced, for example, you have too high of a calcium level or too high of an alkalinity, you want to correct that imbalance first. And once you have the calcium and alkalinity in the proper ratios, uh, something that you can read about in our book, The Reef Aquarium, Volume 3, or you can read about that online, articles about balancing calcium and alkalinity. Um, the way you do achieve a balance, uh, you, if the calcium level is too high, you add a buffer like sodium bicarbonate. Um, if the alkalinity is too high, you add simply calcium chloride. You don't want to use C balance. You don't want to add only A or only B. That, that won't work. Uh, to correct it, you need to add something like calcium pronto, which is uh, calcium chloride if, if the uh, alkalinity is too high. Uh, adding the calcium chloride will uh, bring the calcium level up and reduce the alkalinity level and bring it back in balance and vice versa if the um, calcium level is too high you would add KH power uh, to bring uh, the calcium level down you'll get some precipitation as a result once it's in balance then you proceed with equal A and B of C balance you got it it's easier than it sounds thanks